So there's this awesome quote from Steve Jobs that I like to revisit every once in a while, and it goes, everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you, and you can change it, you can influence it, you can build your own things that other people can use. And I wanted to share that quote with you guys because, well, for one, it's just an incredibly insightful quote taken as a whole, but more specific to the topic of this particular video, I think the first half of that quote can really help you to build the correct mindset for going into college. We are kind of in the back to school season right now and I've been getting a lot of questions via email, via Reddit, via Twitter from people who are justifiably worried about what college holds. They've been told that the workloads are insane and there's just a lot of uncertainty and things that they don't know about and a lot of people feel like they can't handle what college is going to dump on them. And I want to tell you that yes, you can handle it and you're gonna have a much better chance of handling it in the best possible way if you set your mindset right. So let me dispel a myth for you really quickly. There was actually a survey done of college students recently that found that 60% of students felt that they were emotionally unprepared for college and more than 50% felt that they were stressed either most or all of the time. And honestly, these are worrying statistics and they're not good. And I'm hoping that the content on this channel can help in some small way to bring those numbers down as time goes on. But there is a silver lining to those statistics and that is the realization that you are not alone if you are uncertain or stressed or afraid about college. I'm 25 now, I've been out of college for three years and I can tell you this secret of sorts and that is that nobody knows what they're doing. We're all basically just making things up as we go along. We're adopting models and best practices to hopefully get the outcome we want, but nobody knows what they're doing. So the game is basically to appear to know what you're doing and to make the best educated guesses that you can. And the people who play that game best are the ones who constantly evaluate their choices and the results of their actions and where they're going, but also the ones who have learned to react to things and to adopt the correct attitude and to accept help and to seek out help when they need it. And honestly, college is a huge concentrated ball of help and resources and people who are really invested in your success. So go into college with the mindset that you are going to do as best as you can, but also that you're going to adapt to things that you can't predict right now. And honestly, that's good because that's the whole point of growth and in pursuing new opportunities. If you knew exactly what was coming, then it wouldn't be interesting, right? You're going to college because you're going to, you know, find new horizons basically. And when you run into something that you can't deal with on your own, be willing to seek out help. College has a ton of help for you to seek out. For one, there are academic advisors, there are academic success centers with tutors you can get uh, hooked up with. But number two, if you're living in the dorms, get to know your RA. I was actually an RA once uh, during my junior year, and let me tell you, we went through intensive and extensive training to basically be able to answer every question a student might have in any area of your life. And even if we didn't know the answer ourselves, each of us had a huge binder in our dorm room with lots of on-campus resources, and at the very least, we would be able to point a student in the right direction for any problem. So get to know your RA. Now, of course, there is a lot more you can do beyond just being willing to accept help, and one of those things is preparing yourself for every that college is going to throw at you by reading books and listening to podcasts that have been made to help you out. This is actually what I did when I was a high school student. I went down to my local library and I read every single college prep book they had on the shelf, including one that I still personally own, which is How to Win at College by Cal Newport. And I think this is a great book. I also wrote a book on how to earn better grades, so that might be helpful. And a few weeks ago, my friend Martin and I did an entire podcast series called The Path to College. Now, the first episode was about how to get into college. The second one was about how to pay for it, but the third one was a much more holistic look at everything you need to learn to be able to take on college. It was basically the episode about becoming college ready. So if you want a lot more detail on this whole process of becoming college ready, you can click the annotation on the screen right now or the link down in the description below. Uh, but hopefully this particular video just helped to ease your nerves a little bit if you are still worried about college and helped you to set your mindset in a very positive and productive way. Now, before I leave you guys, I did wanna mention one more thing, and that is that we just launched a new page on College Info Geek called the Ultimate College Packing Guide. So if you're still wondering what all you should bring to college, this is our attempt at 
creating a comprehensive resource that should answer that question for you. And right now it's totally V1.0. I still have a lot of different features to add, but I wanted to get it up as early as I possibly could so you guys could make use of it. So once again, cards on the screen if you want to check it out and there's a link down in the description below. That is all I've got for this particular video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can leave it a like to support this channel. And if you've got additional questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below so I can make future videos tackling those topics. Also, if you want to get new videos every single week on being a more effective student, you can click your mouse button on the big red subscribe button down there. And if you want to get a free copy of my book on earning better grades, you can click your mouse button on the picture of the book right over there. If you missed last week's video, we talked about a concept called spaced repetition, which is a really effective learning technique. So check it out if you missed it. And you can find the full article as always for this video at the full article button right there. If you want to connect with me, I'm right behind you.